This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing app. Use the link below to get some free stocks. Especially in times like this, there's no need in leaving free money on the table. Hit the link in the top to get some free stocks from Moomoo. I'll see you over there, baby. Now, let's talk about it. Without further ado, this is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is, baby, because it's about to get. Yo, Keenan, why are you so hyper today? Guess what, family? You know when I see a price I like, I strike. And you know what? When you look at the market, you see all of the red. And what I want you to see is deals on companies that you love love because I believe that you are ready to get busy. Let's talk about it. The first banger on the list, and this is not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I give you the facts and you be the judge. It's AMC Entertainment. I'm an AMC ape through and through. I put into this play what I was willing to lose. And what do I mean? What I'm willing to watch go to zero so that the short sellers can have no chance and shaking me out of the play. I will not be shaked out of this play. If you feel that, let me know in the comments. Tell me, I will not be shaked out of this play so other people who feel the same way as you can let you know that we all in this together, baby. But if you are not an AMC ape, that's okay too. But for those of you that are, let us know who you are in the comments. Hit the like button and let's keep it going. Now, AMC Entertainment, the first banger on the list. You don't have to buy it. I want to give you the facts so you can be the judge. AMC is currently $13.50. It's down 5% on a day. That's nothing to me, baby. I'm an ape. It's down 10% on a week. That's nothing to me, baby. I'm an ape. And it's up 10% on a week. Or actually, on the year. It's up 10% on a year. But check this out. We got to look at the price targets. Because we already know how Wall Street feels about all of these kind of plays, right? What they would call a meme stock. We know that they're going to set price targets really, really low. But guess what? We know that they actually own the short sellers own the companies that set these price targets that want to force it down and force everyday people to think whoa look at the price targets on AMC they all the way down to the floor not realizing that this is a short squeeze play and the shorts have not covered let's talk about it they said that AMC on the median is going to nine dollars 83 cents they say it's going to six dollars on the low and then they say it's going to sixteen dollars on the high but guess what we already know about the manipulation about the corruption, about the collusion, everything that they're doing in the background to try their best to suppress this play. Come on now, I've been holding for a long time and I'm gonna keep holding for a long time because I got them diamond hands, baby, I'm ready, I'm holding for you. If you were watching this, I want you to take a second and understand that Keenan Grace is holding for you. Now let's keep it going. So let's go and give a shout out to AMC Stock on, and on Reddit actually. And they said this, and made a salute to this user. And he said that retail is not selling. He tried to pull out the receipts. So shout out to him for pulling the receipts. He said when you look at the buy and sell orders on Fidelity, you'll see for AMC and GameStop, but particularly here on AMC, you'll see that there's three buy orders for every one sell order. Right now, you could do some mental gymnastics and try to make it make sense and la la la. But whenever you do the math on this, it's never adding up, family. When they got more buy orders than sell orders, but maybe the sell orders are so large. Come on now, let's stop it with that. And we understand all the manipulation going on. And shout out to you for showing the receipts. And when you look all the way on the bottom, follow this red arrow down here, and you'll see that. Look at those green bars. Look at all of the green. That's buy orders versus the little bit of sell order. So retail is holding. This is why I wanted you to say that in the comments so everybody could see that we are holding for each other. If not, there are people who are even buying a dip. This does not mean that you have to buy the dip, but this is what's going on. And I got to give you the facts. Keep it real. Keep it raw. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Now, let's check this out. Adam Aaron came out and told us some news on AMC about the trajectory of what they're thinking. Him and the rest of the managers of AMC. He said this. Today, at our annual annual meeting he posted this on March 11th he said our annual meeting right with the US managers all managers in the United States of AMC theaters he discussed two key goals not one but two key goals and he said he already stated it publicly but the first one on the list is recovery they want to get to pre-pandemic levels aka 2019 levels but he doesn't want to stop there the second thing first thing recovery the second thing is transformation he said through new bold ideas they basically want to create grander amc just a business in general they want to create a grander amc that does more than we did in 2019 so i gotta give him a shout out for that and we already know what time it is we already seen how batman killed it in the box office absolutely went crazy and we seen how spider-man no way home basically became an instant classic and killed it in the box office basically becoming the second highest grossing movie in one weekend when it first came out that's absolutely crazy that they went that crazy in a 
box office weekend. So we love to see it. And actually doing so well that if you check the movie theaters near where you live, they might still even be showing Spider-Man after months of it being out because it's still making a lot of money. Now, let's keep it going. Let's look at the short interest because again, we gotta remember time and time again, they tell you, oh man, it's time to sell your AMC. They keep trying to tell you that. But guess what? The shorts have not covered. Who are the shorts? These are the people who are betting against AMC and they want to see it fail. Guess what? I know they're waiting for Keenan Grace to sell out of his shares, but <laughs> hold up. I'm not having that. You know I'm not having that. Check it out. The current short interest, according to Ortex, this is estimated, remember, they don't account for the synthetic shares that allegedly don't exist, right? The fake shares. So check this out. The current short interest estimated of the free float. Now, for those of you who don't know, the free float is basically all of the shares that can be traded. Some of them are locked up and owned by insiders and all these other things, but the free float, all of the shares that can be traded. And if you didn't know that word, let me know in the comments if you just learned what the free float is. Because again, on Wall Street, sometimes they try to make things so complicated when it's actually quite simple. But that's why I got your back and I will always try to put you up on game. Check this out. It's currently 20%. This is the short interest. According to Ortex, it went down. 1%, but we already know what time it is. It could very well be way higher than 20% when you account for all of the shares that allegedly don't exist. But check this out. The percent of the free float on loan, basically they lent out basically 24% of all of the shares in the free float that are available to be traded. And then they're just waiting to use them and just short them all into the market, right? 24%. Now, the shares on loan, that accounts for 127.93 million shares. That's crazy. And then when you look at the utilization, are they using all of the ones that they loaned? It says seven days ago, they were using every single one of them. And then today, they're using every single one of them. So guess what? The change is not available. For what reason? Because they just keep using every single share and throwing it into the market and adding some, what I would describe as artificial selling pressure. Because remember, selling pressure brings things down. It'll bring the stock price down. But what if they're selling stock that doesn't even exist? Then guess what? That's artificial selling pressure. Now, let's keep it going. Let's check out the trading volume. I want to see and show you something that happened that was crazy today. The trading volume, you'll see this red rectangle, right? Right here. 8 million shares or 8 million different trades back and forth, right? But most of them were selling. In the morning, they started to dump AMC into the market. But was it real shares? But we already know the apes own 90% of all AMC, according to Adam Aaron. But you know what? All of this share pressure or selling pressure coming down, come on now, it's looking funny in the light. And it all happened at once in the first 30 minutes of the market. And then when you go to 10 o'clock, then it just cools off just cools off still selling pressure but it wasn't that big giant dump that they threw into the market of shares in the beginning we know what time it is but let's check this out let's look at the options when you look at the calls which are largely bets that the stock is going to go up versus the puts which are largely bets that the stock is going to come down you're going to see that in the money calls the bets is going to go up basically and most of them are bets is going to go up some are bets is going to come down but most are that is going to go up there's only 2800 Compared to the puts that are in the money, AKA in the money, meaning they're expected to expire with value by expiration, 123,000, 100, oh, 26,000 to be correct. Now, this is crazy. I've never seen such dominance on the put side compared to the call side. Now, this is absolutely meaning that the people who are betting against it are actually making a lot of money here. But guess what? That will never shake me out, never, because I got into this prepared, not surprised. I tell you the five Ps, proper preparation prevents poor performance. I want you to live by that. I want you to be prepared for all things. Now, let's keep it going. When you look at the institutions, remember, this is always gonna look funny because according to the last quarter, everything that was reported, especially in a filing called the 13F, that's reported to the government and to the regulators that it says that institutions own 34%. But remember, Adam Aaron told us that the apes own 90%. 34%, 90%, that does not add up to 100, family. So somebody's doing something that looks illegal. I wonder where the SEC is. Who is the SEC? I tell you, they're the alphabet boys, right? The SEC, these are like the, the federal government. You could think of it like that, of the stock market. And then you got FINRA. They're kind of like the police of the stock market, but where are they? They're nowhere to be seen. So again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I do want to tell you what prices to look out for on AMC. The first price down here is basically $13, right? If it breaks below here, it's very likely that we're going to head to 10. 
not a guarantee because we would love to see a buying wave send us right back above the $15 resistance and then we would like to break above the 20 and then head back up on a mean uptrend baby we would love to see it but I want you to do this remember this if nothing else during a recession during a market pullback during a correction no matter how long it lasts whether it be a few months or maybe even a year maybe even longer than a year he who has cash and she who has cash is king and queen i want you to really understand that let me say it again for those of you in the back that might not have heard me right the first time he who has cash is king and she who has cash is queen during the market corrections during the market pullbacks during the recessions whatever you want to call it why because everything is cheap baby and then you get to pick it up i want you to join the 26 week challenge which we are now getting into week number two where i challenge you and it's quite simple and straightforward get on the discord with us hit the link in the top comment get on the 26 week challenge where we are going to save five thousand dollars minimum by september and it's a lot easier than you think hit that link i'll see you over there and i'm going live on discord tomorrow at 9 30 a.m so i see you over there baby but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen consider investing in index funds again remember this if nothing else i love y'all take care